Damn, this is just like your butthole. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be clean. All right, look what we got here, guys. The old link in there. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a spark plug change. So here's the spark plugs that you're gonna get, go ahead and use. These are, I went with uh, Motorcraft, which is actually just NGK plugs that Ford uh, contracts out to NGK. So here's the part number if you're looking. Uh, this is a 2017 uh, Lincoln MKZ hybrid. It has just a 2.0 in it. Uh, it's just a little turd four cylinder. And what's different with my video than any of those spark plug videos or like the Ford Fusion or there isn't one for the Lincoln is no one gives the torque specs on the spark plugs, which is 106 inch pounds. So I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen so you can see it from the service manual. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and change these spark plugs out. I got 115,000 miles on this Lincoln 2017. So you're supposed to change them every 100,000. So it's definitely due because it's never been changed. So let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and let's get started. So let's start by uh, removing the mass airflow sensor. Looks like it just has a little clip like that that pops up. And then you're just gonna gently pull this out. So let's get this little plastic clip right here and make sure we don't break it. Okay, once you go ahead and get this little uh, plastic zip tie popped out, you're gonna go ahead onto the other side of this mass airflow sensor and there's this little red tab you pull up on it. And then you're gonna go ahead and slide this right on off. That's your mass airflow sensor, that's what does Stachyometry, I think is what it is. So 14.7 uh, over one. So 14.7 parts air to one part uh, fuel. To get to the plugs, we're gonna have to remove this cover. So there's a seven millimeter bolt right here. And then it looks like you gotta pull this air hose off here. And then this little clamp. And then another seven millimeter bolt. And then that'll go ahead and uh, get this cover off. Then on over here to the other side. All right, once you get those uh, hoses uh, popped off and the bolts loose, this thing should just snap right off. There we go. This is just like your butthole. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be clean. And looky here, all cleaned up. So now the working area that you have, you don't worry about dirt falling down in. So you want some kind of little air gun so when you do pull out these coil packs that you're able to blow out the dirt. Um, something I found interesting in the service manual is I've always let my car sit overnight when I pull out the plugs. Uh, it said in there you don't want the engine to be completely cold and not completely hot, just warm to the touch. So the cold soak, I'm imagining it had to be talking about in the winter, if it's sitting out there in freezing temperatures, because I've always let the car just sit overnight before I do plugs. But either way, this one I actually drove this morning, so it's a little warm. So I'm gonna do exactly what the manual says. It says uh, just warm to the touch, and then you're good to go. All right, so go ahead and pull out these uh, coil packs. Pull the uh, connectors off each one. Remembering where they go, they're each the same length, so you really can't get these ones confused like on the VQ. So go ahead and pull each one of these off. And then you're gonna pull this little doohickey off to get down to, huh, now that bolt looks like a different size than these other ones. Let me, let me find out, because these are all eight millimeters. So yep, it takes an eight. You just need a, a deep socket to go down over it like this, and you're perfectly fine. And a deep socket on over here. 
So once you uh, loosen each one of these up, I'm gonna do one at a time, because then you can blow the dirt out of each one. And then it just ensures you're not getting dirt blown in uh, the cylinder holes of the other ones if you pull them all out at once. So do one at a time. That's what I'm gonna do. Give her a little wiggle. Well, it's a little different too, is I put dielectric grease on mine. So when you pull them back out, they're easy to get out. Let's take a little look down in there. How are we looking? I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but that looks freaking dope. It's 114,000 miles. That's pretty spotless. All right, get your compressed air. I got just a cheap old uh, duster can here. They got to check your ID, make sure I'm not getting high. Go ahead and pull all the, the dirt out of the uh, cylinder hole. All right, get yourself a spark plug uh, socket. I always get the magnetized one. And you want to make sure it's on a... Uh, See how that swivels? That just ensures that you never cross thread because then, then it always puts it in straight instead of being rigid. Let's take a look at these. These are definitely the, uh, the OEM ones from Ford. Got a little oil seepage on it. A little crud here. Eh, for 114,000 miles. Ah, they're not that bad. All right, so here's... Uh, Here's your OEM replacement. No need to put any anti-seize on it because they already come that way. You just don't. The reason you don't is you risk over-torquing them to the actual spec because the anti-seize is a lubricant and it, it, you're over-torque. So these are the NGK Ford plugs. NGK makes them, which is the best. So these are iridium, so these are gonna be dope. So probably never have to change it for another 100,000 just like the originals. So let's go ahead and finger tight this down on and uh, I'm only going to do one of these because the rest is the exact same, so there'd be no point in showing you all four. Okay, once you have your, uh, your torque wrench, you got to make sure this is inch pounds, not foot pounds. There are two different torque wrenches. Once it's set to 106, you can go ahead and tighten down your short clogs. And then when you hear the click, you're, you're officially done. So in my experience, when a coil pack goes bad, it'll have like a blister on it or any kind of crack. So just go around and take a look at it. If everything looks intact, looks good. We're gonna rub a little dielectric grease right down in chair. And uh, that keeps it, so it's just, if there's an arc that happens, it doesn't make that blister. So that's what you're supposed to do. Dielectric grease just like this. And there you have it. You've completed putting all brand new spark plugs in your Lincoln MKZ or your Ford Fusion. It just repeat the process straight across.